Here she is again. Talking about me and my shadow. I'm not going to apologize for keeping my eye on you. What's that you got there? Playing butty for my lunch. Don't give me the face. I had some broccoli yesterday. You saw me with your own eyes. Yeah, I'm going to try. Oh, what are you looking at him for? You've got that date later. Matthew Singh is well fitter than that granddad. How do you know? You've never even clapped eyes on him. I Googled it. Yeah, well, um, I'm thinking of counselling. Don't you dare! If you don't have a go on him, then I will. Well, I was there shopping at Fresco's. I know your shop shut, but even so. He's making a chicken curry tonight. From scratch, so he keeps telling me. All right. Cinnamon, cardamom, cumin. Right, no point me stocking this sort of stuff, because people around here, they want pop tarts and pork pies. <laughs> Not always on the same plate, though. <laughs> hey, guys, why don't you join me? Might make enough for a regiment. Uh, a long bit short notice, isn't it? I might struggle getting a babysitter. Oh, no, I'm sure Rosie or Sophie will babysit, and anyway, I'd love a night off me from cooking. Oh, OK, then, well, you know? Excellent. You want to knock on, say, half six, quarter to seven? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've signed on the dotted. Made a few changes, obviously. Obviously. So, might as well get started straight away. You said you'd give me uh, summer's details. Ah, there's no point wasting time with minors, mate. You know, we can't conduct any legal work without the signature of a guardian. Yeah. Well, that might happen sooner than you think. Aye, aye. Mm-hmm. An address, a mobile number, and a file on my desk. There you go. The keys to the kingdom. Oh. Hello. Uh, Norris, I, I thought it'd be nice to send Chesney a get-well card. Oh, yeah, there, there's some on sale uh, uh, on the back shelf there, two for a pound. Right. Uh, you know, I, I'm toying with installing one of these uh, panic buttons. Oh, well, why don't you go the whole hog and opt for a panic room? Well, see, see, if, if a ne'er-do-well came barging in here, all I've got to do is press the button oh, and the police would descend like a flock of pigeons on a cheese pasty. <laughs> <laughs> well, all things considered, you do well to be on your guard. Right. N not busy today, Bethany. Not really. Uh, I wondered if I could ask you for some um, creative advice. Me? Hmm. I have a contemporary type floral and I'm struggling to make the colours work. Well, I can have a go if you like. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. You're a lifesaver. Come on, hand it over. Do not make me wrestle you to the ground for it. Well, steady on. Some of us are trying to work. Go on, dig deep. Wedding dresses don't come cheap, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> yes, you beauty. We've got a factory full of seamstresses. Why don't you get someone to run one up for you? Oh. It's good enough for Jenny. She wants designer. Only the best for our Eva. Uh, seriously, though, take it easy. We've got a load of expenses at the moment. Babe, stop worrying about your card, will you? It is in very safe hands. Hi. Well, you don't hang about, I'll give you that. Yeah, she wheels one man out, another one in. I didn't wheel him out, oh, he chucked me. Well, that you do, right? I mean, there's no point sitting on a shelf gathering dust, eh? Like I am. And me. Go on, get out there, give it some welly. Oh, Mr. Darcy, 10 o'clock. Hope you like them. Oh, they're gorgeous. So are you. Was <laughs> that too cheesy? Awkward. Johnny? I'd better get back to work. Yeah, of course. Uh, well, I'll see you tonight then. Peace for six. Mm -hmm. Got a lovely head of hair. He's a keeper, that one. Yeah, well, we'll, uh, we'll see. <laughs> You don't need me. You've done this dozens of times. Maybe, but I haven't got your flair. Quite a hefty talent you've got there. I know you're only praising me to make me feel better about myself. Oh, well. Everyone knows I'm gullible enough to fall for it. Don't say that. Why not? I've been so stupid. I believed every word that Nathan said to me. It really isn't your fault. I mean, clearly, he was a very accomplished liar. But thanks to your bravery in reporting him, he, he won't be able to do that to anybody else. Hope the courts see it that way. Have they set a date yet? 
Well, I I'm sure when the time comes, the judge and jury will see you for what you are. A brave girl with an open heart who made the mistake of trusting the wrong person. <laughs> I know it's going to be nerve-wracking, but it's good that you've got a chance to speak out. I want you to get the justice you deserve. So stand up in that court and show Nathan and the rest of them that this time they've picked the wrong girl. Do you know, I've been magnificent today, me. Faster than the speed of light. Oh, wow. Aye, they're off her latest suitor. Keen as mustard and twice as hot. Mm, not afraid to splash the cash, is he? Yeah, Tim doesn't like ostentatious displays of affection. He's much more spontaneous. Mm. Tighter than a duck's backside, you mean? Mm. My Tyrone's idea of romance is making me a sausage butter. Hey, don't knock it. So he's off on a date with Matthew Singh. He's always fancy, though. He's killing me. Seeing her go off with someone else. So do something about it. Like what? I already proposed to her again a couple of weeks ago. Look how that ended. Talk to her. Tell her the truth. How's it going with your Oscar? You got your exam next week, haven't you? Yeah, not bad. You know what I'm like. Brain's the size of a planet. Yeah. Listen, Adam, we need to do something with this place. It doesn't exactly scream success, does it? It will, once we give it a lick of paint. Lick of paint? Drop a bomb and it start again. I want to talk some more about doing the NHS. I told you yesterday, you need to bring a responsible adult. I'm sorry, but I'm busy. OK, well, hey, you, you can talk to me. I'd rather stick pins in my eyes. OK, well, like, we can do that later, but first, why don't you sit down and let me help you? <sighs> Listen, Summer, I really liked your dad. And if someone hasn't given him the care he deserved, we need to nail him, all right? And listen, I'm really sorry about yesterday, me and Billy turning up to the funeral. But I tell you what, the way you read that eulogy, that was so brave. Whatever. OK, well, why don't I take some notes? <clears throat> Your office is so scuzzy. I thought solicitors were supposed to be loaded. Well, <laughs> uh, that's the plan. You should tuck your trousers into your socks. Eh? In case of rats. Once my dad had a rat run up his trouser leg. Sounds like he was one for the tall tales, your dad. OK. Why don't you tell me all about him? Oh, I think the worst thing must be knowing that he had to say goodbye to his little girl. Oh, filling up just thinking about it. I mean, I know someone's got her grandparents, but... Oof, they're a total nightmare. Oh, she must feel so alone. Oh. Right, I need, I need to answer this. Um, hello? Yeah, OK. Uh, what time are you thinking? Yeah, that's fine, OK. Right, see you then. I'm really sorry, I'm going to have to go. That's the policewoman that's dealing with Bethany's case. They've got something they need to tell me. So. Hi. Hey, hello again. Thought Dev would have you slaving over a not stove. Oh, no, that's his department. Uh, Just need a couple of eclairs for the brats. Oh. Bit of bribery can work wonders. Mm. So, come on, then. What have you got there? Oh, bought myself a new dress. So, what do you think? The dress looks more like a top to me. <laughs> yeah, well, if you got it, flaunt it. Uh. <laughs> You're not planning on wearing that tonight, are you? Mm. Oh, well, I didn't know we were getting glammed up. I ain't got anything. Well, stick some sequins on your tabard. You'll be fine. Mm. <laughs> ah, going somewhere fabulous. Not me, no. I'm trying to choose a honeymoon for Aidan and Eva. I'm footing the bill. Very generous of you. Go on, then. Budge up. I 
But to tell you the truth, all this is bringing me down. How do you mean? I'm uh, looking at honeymoons when me and Jenny... What happened between you two? I always thought you seemed really well suited. I blew it, didn't I? I'm a complete idiot. Yeah. You're a body language expert, Nozza. Mm -hmm. What do you make of them two over there? Sitting close, aren't they, for, for mere acquaintances? That's what I thought. I'm going to go over there and bang the cheating heads together. No, no, stay where you are. We'll, we'll watch her. See how it turns out. Hmm. I knew there had to be a reason why he broke off his engagement. I, I told Jenny, but she wouldn't listen. Well, now we know why. Because he's doing her instead. <laughs> What do you think he would have done if Jenny would have said yeah when he proposed to them? Hmm. I suppose it, it would have carried on with both of them at the same time. <laughs> the dirty dog. Don't look now, but uh, we're being watched. Maybe we should continue this conversation in the back. Thanks for seeing me at such short notice. Would you like a cup of tea? Uh, no, I'm fine, thanks. Is um, Bethany upstairs? No, she's out at the moment. Um, sorry, but I've got some bad news. The CPS won't be pursuing a case against Nathan Curtis. Why? I'm afraid we simply don't have enough evidence. Is this because Bethany struggled when she was giving her statement? Well, that certainly hasn't helped. And, um, what about Nathan? There's not anything on his phone. Well, he's been very smart. Made sure all his messages sound innocent. No suggestion of any wrongdoing. Uh, the CPS doesn't have anything other than Bethany's word that she was in a coercive relationship. And the same goes for the accusation that she was passed around for sex. I'm so sorry. And, given we've got nothing on him, We've had to release him. Bethany's going to be devastated. Make sure you showed up. Cos I'm telling you, that Johnny is a snake and you're better off without him. Yeah, so you said now. Do you mind? Him and Liz are at it. <laughs> no way. If you don't believe me, then ask Norris. We're just seeing them in the rovers all over each other. Well, he's a single man now. He can see wherever he wants. Yeah, but I don't think it's a new thing. What? They're going on a dead posh holiday. They must have been together for ages. Rubbish. They went into the back because they were desperate to be alone. Well, if he's got her, why did he want me back? Well, because he's a sex maniac. So I'm telling you, you get stuck in with Matthew Singh. Because that Johnny is a cheating scumbag and you deserve better. Sometimes you needed help with getting washed and dressed. You know, the usual stuff, no big deal. Right, well, it must have been tough on you. No, I was all right. I suppose nights could be a bit rough. Seemed to go on forever. When he was in pain, he tried not to show it, but I could always tell. So he'd stick on a DVD, stay up all night, binge watching. All right, we'll get you with the all-nighters. Bet school loved that, eh? <laughs> I'd get in late sometimes. Maybe like Skyville. I'd be like, whatever. Fell asleep in maths all the time. Right, well, it's not all bad then, is it? I'm the weird kid, the one who doesn't fit in. Hey, weird is good, if you ask me, all right? To be honest, it was all right looking after Dad. But when I had to stay home too long or could miss out on loads of fun stuff, I'd get mad at him. Hey, well, listen, no-one's going to blame me for that. When I was angry or sad, he'd always find a way to make me laugh. 
I miss him so much. So, did you know that lad who got stabbed? Well, everyone knows everyone around here. Well, how's he doing? Apparently, he's going to be fine. Still, it's a nasty business, all that, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry, I don't want to be rude, but I do need to take this. Oh. So. <laughs> Didn't take you long to get over my dad. <laughs> I haven't done anything wrong. He done me. Yeah, but did you ever stop to ask why? Well, he told me he didn't love me. I think that's pretty clear, don't you? I mean, I know he changed his mind again, apparently, but that's hardly reassuring, is it? You didn't think to dig a little deeper? Is this because he's seen somebody else? <laughs> you said that? It doesn't matter who said it. Is it true? I can promise you, that's not why he ended it. You need to speak to him. Well, you obviously know more than you're letting on. Why don't you just tell me? I can't, because it's not my secret to tell. So, how's it going with the grandparents? Bet they aren't as cool as me and Billy. You're full of yourself. Mm. Sort of front, just like you. It hurt, you know, when you knocked us back. Don't lie, I heard what you said. Billy wanted to look after me, but you didn't. You said I should be sent to a kid's home. <sighs> no, Summer, no. That's not what I meant. That's not what I said. I said I didn't want to see you sent to a kid's home. It, it, was, a, it was just a joke. Yeah, well, it wasn't funny. Listen. Listen, Summer. Your dad loved you. The last thing he did for you before he died was to set you up with me and Billy. Shouldn't you at least consider that? You can't look after a kid. You still live at home with your mum. You still got my own room at Grand's. I'll be in touch soon. See if you've made any progress in my case. Summer, wait, I'll, I'll walk you to the bus stop. No time, better off on my own. You know, I was dead surprised to hear that you were seeing Johnny. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a nice enough bloke, but you know, what attracted you to him? I'm beginning to wonder. So why'd you split up? Do you know, I'm not entirely sure. Well, sorry, Jenny. Hang on, where are you going? Just sit tight, promise them. Won't be long. Aiden is gonna lose his nose. <laughs> well, he deserves everything he gets. Oh. What do you think? Cool colour, isn't it? Well fit. Oh, come on, get in. Runs like a dream. Is this it? It's ours. <laughs> yeah, right. You were supposed to be buying a wedding dress. <laughs> yeah, no, but I got a little bit distracted by this beauty. <laughs> How much was it? Oh, don't go worrying about that. It's only money, in it? Yeah, don't panic, babe. I just struck it on your credit card. Hurry up and get ready. We're going to be late. Oh, and uh, do you know what? To tell you the truth, I'm not really in the mood. You will be once you get there. Anyway, it's your idea to go. I know. Will you, will you just ring them and say I don't feel very well? Well, it's too late to back out now. Oh, do you know what? They won't be bothered either way. They probably prefer to be left on their own. They're very lovely, do Look, why are you making it such a big deal? It's just a meal with a couple of friends. Oh, well, then how come you're all dressed up then and smelling like a tart's boudoir? And I can't believe you've gone and paid £9.99 a bottle for that wine. Who are you trying to impress? I'll go on my own. <sighs> What's for tea? I'm starving. Um, I need to talk to you. DC Lee's been round. And? This doesn't reflect badly against you, so I want you to remember that. What's happened? The CPS have decided against taking Nathan to court. No. They haven't got enough evidence against him and there's just no way that they'd get a conviction. This is my fault. 
It isn't. I lost my bottle. I couldn't tell them everything they needed to know. Bethany, this isn't over. You could try again. I can't! I told them everything I could. Please, don't make me talk to the police again. But they're here to help you, Bethany. They're here to help. <laughs> No right to feel the way I do. But I can't stand to think of that Matthew Singh drooling all over her. Well, you obviously think the world of her. So how come you ended it? I already told you you can't go back there. Get out of my way, son. Do not make me knock you over. <clears throat> Miss Jenny Bradley on the rampage won't take no for an answer. I get it now. Yeah, suddenly everything makes sense. This is why you dumped me. Hey? You were seeing her on the side. Oh. Ah. I'll tell you what. I'll leave you both to it. You've got it wrong, love. You have treated me like dirt, Johnny. Oh, but Kate told me there was a reason for that, that I should ask you about your secret. I finished it. Because I love you. I was trying to protect you from me. You're not making any sense. I've been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And Coronation Street will be back in half an hour.